This is the second video in the series talking about communication and relationships. And last time we went through what it takes for you to be happy and helping you understand exactly how you do this process of getting results in terms of your communication and, and um, relationships. Now we talked about the memories and experiences and we've all had experiences, whether they're when we're really little, when we went to school, when we went to um, big school, she says. <laughs> so secondary school, uh, when we went to university, uh, when we started work, when we met our first girlfriend, boyfriend, when we were dumped by girlfriends, boyfriends, when we got married, when things started to go wrong in, in your marriage. We've all got sort of things that um, we've experienced. And what happens is when we experience things, when then we actually make a decision and then create a, a limiting belief such as, you know, um, I'm not good enough, no one's going to respect me, I'm not worthy, that sort of thing. So what happens when we hook negative emotions onto um, those events? I'm going to demonstrate um, with this lovely piece of equipment that's down here. So this is, dem this is sort of a representation of a significant event in your past that has an impact on your communication and your relationships now. Um, so I've just hooked that on to there. And what happens then is we sort of move forward and we get new relationships and um, or we work or we have relationships with people in our business. And what happens is that someone might look at us in a funny way or say something and instantly what we do is we go way back to that event. And it's really a trigger and a negative anchor. So once you've identified your emotional triggers, you know, your negative anchors that keep dragging you back to this emotional event. And, you know, there may be several, so you may need to deal with quite a lot of them. You need to unhook the bungee clip from that emotional event in order to be able to move forward and not constantly getting dragged back to it. And the ways to do that is to unhook or to cut the bungee cord. So just throw it away. But that event is not real, it's just something that you've wired into your head. And it's interesting, isn't it, the, this thing about reality, because if you think about it, when we're watching scary programmes on the telly, like I quite like Luther, but I find it really difficult to go upstairs to bed because I've got to check all the wardrobes and under the bed and things. But, you know, once it's over, we just go to bed and we live our life the next day as a, you know, it's not real, is it? And actually that event is not real. It's just something that you've wired into your head that you've got um, a perception on and a reality on because of those memories and experiences that are up here. Unhook the bungee cord, cut the bungee cord. And in order to be able to do that, you actually have to have something that you really want going forward into the future so that that's going to drag you this way because you're really, really keen to have that. And then that becomes totally irrelevant. Now, sometimes our unconscious mind gets in the way and what happens is that our unconscious mind is there to protect us. So every time we try and move forward, our unconscious mind goes, oh, but remember what happened when that happened. And we get dragged back to it and it affects all of our relationships. It affects our communication, affects our happiness. So if you're consciously setting some goals for what you want, consciously getting rid of that negative event and you haven't managed to do that, then give me a shout because things like timeline therapy and NLP are exceedingly good for just getting rid of all that chain of events that stop you from doing that. So that's my little, uh, si little part of the mini series on um, how emotions affect our relationships. So um, if you can drop me some comments, that would be really good. And tomorrow what we're going to be talking about is values and beliefs, which are about what's important to you.